I'm Amelia and today we are talking about the spiraling in and out exercise. This is a great exercise for young horses but also for FEI horses because it works a lot on suppleness, it works on teaching your horse to collect, it's a really good exercise to get your horse kind of focused if they're a little bit distracted and you just need to focus them and get them on the eights. So, be sure to check out the links below. I have a free rider assessment quiz that you can take to give you kind of a good idea of your strengths and weaknesses and hopefully give you some ideas of some goals for the year ahead and some stuff to work on with your horse. So check that out in the description and be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get notified when I make a new video every Wednesday. Okay, so Don Carlos here is going to show you the spiraling in and out exercise. You can do this exercise at the trot and at the canter. So I'm going to show you both. Um, at the trot is a good place to start. So what you want to do is you're going to just pick up a nice trot. It's really important to start on an accurate circle. So like an accurate 20 meter circle with it, just a nice normal working trot and you want to make sure that your horse is bending on the circle line so if i want my horse to bend my left leg is at the girth my right leg is a little behind the girth and i'm making sure that he's not falling out with his shoulders or out with his hip or tipping in on his inside shoulder i want him to be just really nice and balanced on the circle line so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my circle from my outside aids. I'm going to start making like a 15 meter circle. And then from the 15 meter circle, make it a little bit smaller to a 12 meter circle. And then going all the way in to a 10 meter circle. Now, once I have my 10 meter circle, I'm going to leg yield him back out to the 20 meter circle. So I'm going to push him off my left leg. You can see he's a little sticky here. Move him off my left leg into the right rein until I'm back to my circle. Now I need to address a little the throughness and the forwardness again. So this exercise will really help to get your horse supple. And often as you spiral in and make your circle a little smaller, your horse is going to want to slow down, want to fall in or out, not bend, because the small circle really challenges the suppleness and the bending. And then the leg yield out really challenges that your horse is honestly going from inside leg into the outside rein. Good oh boy. So I'm going to do it at the canter. So this exercise is really, really useful at the canter. If you're at the point where you want to start developing adjustability in this ride. So part of training dressage is getting to where you can adjust the horse's canter strides. And when you make, when you spiral into the smaller circle, your horse is going to have to make a smaller canter stride. In the canter, when you spiral in, it's a little bit some steps of half pass because your horse, again, they're bending in the body. As you make this circle first to a 15 meter circle, and there he wanted to get a little behind the leg as I'm making my circle smaller. So I'm saying, no, stay in front of my leg, stay cantering. The steps get a little smaller, you notice, on this smaller circle, but I still want him bending and round and in front of my leg. And then to get back to the big 20 meter circle, I'm gonna leg yield him out. It's really important when you leg yield your horse out at the canter, that your inside leg stays at the girth and your outside leg stays behind the girth. Because if you put your inside leg back 
to move your horse out to the bigger circle, they might try to do a flying change. So let me show you that again. I'm gonna spiral in little bit by little bit. First to a 15. And again, I'm working on keeping my horse through, keeping my horse supple. I'm making sure that my seat is still following the canter stride as I'm making this 10 meter circle. And he's gotta stay bending. So you can see here, as I'm making my circle a little smaller, he wants to kind of fall in with his shoulder and out with his hip. And I'm saying, no, you gotta bend in your body. Good. And then I'm gonna leg yield him back to the bigger circle, but really making sure that I'm keeping inside leg at the girth and outside leg behind the girth. Good boy. And, and now that I'm back on the big circle, he feels soft and round, which is super nice. So it's a improved throughness and suppleness from this spiral in and leg yield out exercise. So as with everything in dressage, it's important to do this exercise on both leads in both directions so that you really um, make sure that your horse is even left and right. So now I'm gonna do the spiral in and leg yield out on the right lead. And it's really important to know your horse's stiff and hollow side. So for Don Carlos, the right is his stiff side, which means that he kind of wants to lean a little more in, but not bend in his body. So to the right, it's gonna be easier for me to get him onto a smaller circle, but the challenge is gonna be to really keep him wrapped around my inside leg and bending in the body. So, that, and I really, like here, he gets a little too strong on my right rein. Oh, I dropped my rein there. So even as I go on the smaller circle, I still want the feeling that he's into that outside hand, that he's keeping the activity, and then that I can leg yield him out again from my inside leg. And I really am again working that I wanna keep him into my outside rein and that he doesn't start leaning his body to the inside when I make this circle smaller. So again, if you guys are having trouble at the canter with this, go back and do it at the trot. Um, Don Carlos is pretty advanced, so I wanted to practice it with him at the canter. But it's a really great exercise to work on getting your horse supple and focused and a little bit more through. As you can see, like when I go in the small circle, he gets a little tense. Oh boy but just by repeating this exercise, he's starting to get more supple. Good boy, good, good. And more bendable and more honest from my inside leg to my outside rein. So that's a really good exercise to start working towards half passes, to start working towards a little bit of the ability to collect your horse and adjust your horse's canter. And you'll find that after you do that, when you go straight ahead, your horse feels very nice and more supple. Ooh. Boy. So give that exercise a try, the spiral in and leg yield out. Let me know if it helps your horse and what you found, if there's a difference from left to right, but it's a great exercise to work on getting your horse a little more supple and through and adjustable. So thanks for watching. The end.